hey guys this is your how to tutorials and today i'm going to show you how you can write equations so it's a part 2 video of the how to write the equation in latex so let's get started and in this video we will talk about first one is fraction and second one is exponential third one is square roots and trigonometry and the last is brackets so let's get started previously in the part 1 We already talked about some of the operators in mathematics like addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. And in this part, firstly, we are going to talk about fractions. So let's delete all these and start with the fraction. So for the writing fraction, we have to use command frac f r a c frac. And in between the curly braces. i have to write for i have to write first numerator of the fraction which is suppose i am going to write 1 upon 2 so 1 in the first curly braces and 2 in the second curly braces and after that you have to put dollar sign and it will render 1 upon 2 which is nice 1 upon 2 and let's do some more After the double slash, you can define the distance between the two lines. So here I defined, here I defined inside the square bracket, which is two millimeter between two consecutive lines. So whenever I write second line of the equation like frac four upon five, then separation between these two lines will be two millimeter. So if I increase two to five millimeter, then the separation between line will be five millimeter. So it all depends on you how you want to write the fraction. Now second one is exponential. So for the exponential, you do some power like s square times x to the power five times x to something like. super script or sub script so let's start it and let's put these exponential terms so if you want to write x square so I'll write x and then after cap then after 2 and close this equation and it will get x square in the pdf file mm, if you want if you write like uh, x to the power 20 then this this will go wrong because you have to write in the curly braces which is of the exponent term so if there is more than one digit then you have to use curly braces for the exponential term and if you want to write like x to the power minus 4 then you have to write curly braces and then after close the equation and it will get x to the power minus 2 and if you want to write x to the power sin theta then you have to sin theta things like that so you got the superscript now it's time to subscript subscript means like uh, we write some terms like x2 x1 x4 like that so for that just uh, i have to use underscore sin so if we have if i Uh, let's write x two for the writing x two. Just uh, you have to write x underscore and then after two, then it will render x two. Here okay, again, if you want to write uh, more than one digit in the subscript, so then then you have to keep both the digit in inside the curly braces inside the curly braces. So if you want to write x thirty, then you have to write x, then underscore, and then inside the curly braces thirty. Now it's time to square roots. So for the square root, just for the square root, just use a simple command called s q r t. So you can write a square root of suppose four. So you have to use s q r t command, and inside the curly braces, you have to write the number which you want to get the square root. So like this, square root of four. If you want to write square root of minus four, then again, no problem. Just inside the curly curly braces, it will all contains the square root terms. 
so inside if you want to write a square root of 1 minus 2x 1 minus 2x and again if you want to combine the square roots and the fraction part so again you have to use the square root and inside that you have to frac sum so like uh, if you want to write uh, 1 minus 2x and the second one plus 2x so it will go like this and oh sorry i have to insert the dollar sign to in the equation and it will so like this so i'm going to increase the spaces between the two equations so it will mode clear and here you can see you can combine all of these in the same equation so first one is just a square root of and then after you have to use the fraction command to separate out the fraction so you can see from the inside as well which is from the fraction 1 minus 2x and 1 plus 2x and after that a square root of all these and then after a square root of all these so i hope you got this and now it's time one more thing if, if you have to write like uh, q root of and fourth root of then just use same as square root and inside a square just write three and inside the bracket write four five or things like that so here you can see it's a q root of five so for the q root and fourth root as we use the same command called sqrt and inside the square bracket just define the degree like if you want to fifth root of like uh, 10 or 20 10 then you have to write 5 inside the square bracket and the actual number inside the curly braces so you will get the desired equation and now i hope you got the, all the, the square roots and the nth power and now it's time to trigonometry so how you can write cos theta sin theta and things like that so that just to read just same you have to close this equation inside the dollar sign and inside the dollar sign you have to write some command like for sin theta cos theta and tan theta so i'm going to write first sin theta so for the sin theta you have to use the sin command which is backslash sin and it will automatically adjust sine and then after you have to write theta actually in the latex you also have there is also a command called theta especially and if you render this you will get this like sine theta and if you want to write sorry if you want to write sine x then sine x it will be more cool like sine x so it depends on you how you want if you write to cos x like so then cos is the command for cos and the space then x you don't want to put a space or like that it will automatically render the mathematical term like cos x with a proper space cos x and if you want to write tan x then for the tan as well there is a command called tan backslash tan and then after you can use the x which is tan x for the cot as well cot and x this is cot cot theta now if you want to combine more of these like if you want to write sin theta upon tan uh, upon cos theta is equal to tan theta so you have to combine fraction and trigonometry so for that let's uh, for that let's write a fraction tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta for that let's create a space between these two lines so start with the dollar sign for the equation and now tan x is equal to fraction of sin x upon cos x and it will render like this tan x is equal to sin x upon cos x which is pretty cool and and one more equation i'm going to write like tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b 
upon 1 minus tan into tan b so if you want like proper spacing then you can use curly dash for one space between the tan a and tan b and if you want proper space between all these equations then you can use also so i hope you got this uh, i hope you got this the trigonometrical function especially now it's time to use some brackets so for the brackets if i if i am writing by is equals to some fraction of polynomials one second let's create a pass so it will actually render like this not a great idea so if i want like uh, being brackets like something like uh, you have to write left and then you have to pop up and you have to do the same for the right side right and then it will look much better you can see here so it, with the help of proper brackets you can write much better equations in latex if you want to write a square bracket big square bracket so you can write like this and so that's it guys for this part and um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you have to ask any question related to the equation and any part of the latex just uh, drop down in the comment section and i will respond to you and uh, if you want more about latex just feel free to subscribe this channel and thank you for watching see you in the next one